Hello everybody, what's going on? Today I will be doing a short tutorial for the plugin titled Parkour created by Ash. Uh, plugin can be found on Bucket. So first things first, we're gonna try to do slash PACMDS or short for PA commands. So that's gonna pull up all the commands or the commands menu into four basic pages. So page one is gonna be for uh, like user commands, page two for creating a course, page three configuration and page four for admins so we can check out uh, commands page one as you can see it's a lot of uh, basic stuff so join command leave info uh, course lobby permissions uh, like dislike uh, list uh, you can toggle like the visibility of parkour messages invite others challenge help and about so let's check out what version we're using I believe 4.0 or development build of 4.0 so um, I feel like everything with the user commands is pretty self-explanatory um, with uh, commands 2 we'll actually get into creating uh, a map so I already have a map pre set up uh, I'm gonna go teleport it to it now uh, it's already moved to like uh, my parkour world here so what we're gonna do to start off we're gonna do slash p create name of the map uh, we call it Spartans just because it's green and white like my uh, school colors uh, so I'm gonna do set start for the map as well to get us going so this is gonna be when you uh, spawn into the game or when you die let's go into game mode one it might be quicker that way um, so something that I find pretty useful about this plugin or actually pretty unique is that they have a custom block uh, set I believe it's configurable in the uh, config if you want to change any of these around but basically obsidian is going to function as a speed block so when you're standing over it you're going to get a speed effect um, bricks are going to function as a climb block so basically imagine like if a box like has ladders on all four sides that's sort of what it's like actually it's pretty cool uh, the emerald is going to function as a launch block so when you stand on it or you jump on it it's going to send you flying up into the air um, the mushroom block is going to function as the finish block. Repulse block is going to send you backwards. Uh, gold blocks are going to make it so you can't run when you're over them. Uh, this mushroom block, the brown mushroom block, is uh, the no potion block, but it just cancels out uh, any potion effects you might have on you. Um, and this is the death block. I like to use it as uh, a death zone so you don't always fall into the void to die because I feel like it consumes time and uh, signs are just uh, they're just useful to have to be honest so now that we got that out of the way we can start setting up some checkpoints so um, they're pretty simple to set up so you can do slash pa checkpoint one and that's checkpoint one set so when anyone ste steps on that uh, pressure plate uh, they're gonna trigger a checkpoint so checkpoint two again you're gonna do them incrementally it's pretty uh, simple to set up three right here and then we already have a finish block uh, set up but uh, just to be safe we can do slash PA finish and it has been set to finished so uh, something you might also want to do is set a uh, creator so I mean people know who made it so you can do slash PA set creator Spartans and then that's going to set the creator of the course, Daxter's Gaming. He did make this. He's a Barbercraft helper. Uh, this is something that's actually pretty cool is that you can configure prizes. So slash PA prize Spartans, or you can do it for any map really. Uh, so you can make it a material, command, or XP. So why don't we set it to material? Again, it's all very easy. It's very self-explanatory. You don't have to do like a long chain of commands or anything. It's just typing into the uh, menu. So what material do you want to reward the player with? Um, how about uh, diamond? And how many? We can just set it to something like three. So then the material prize for Spartans was set to three diamond. It's going to be a similar process for the other for the others. All right. So. Um, you can also uh, just if you're like around if you want to see if something works properly you could just do slash pa test and that'll get you into test mode 
So for instance, if I wanted to test out this uh, checkpoint, I'm set to test mode right now. Uh, one second. Alrighty guys, I actually don't believe uh, the test command is working with this version, but that's alright. Um, I'm sure it'll be fixed in the next update they have. So let's head back to the parkour lobby. And um, oh, by the way, I don't know if I actually showed you guys how to set the lobby. That that would be important. It just can do slash pa set lobby at a spot, and then anyone who has access to the man can just be teleported to the lobby instantly. So people can either join through commands, so doing slash pa join uh, Spartans, or you can set up signs for it. So what I like to do is uh oh maybe I'm I'm in banish. That could have something to do with it actually. So PA and then join Spartans and then you could uh, normally I like to put who made the map so Daxter's Gaming put that there and it's been created and everything that's good to see and we instantly join the map everything looks fine let's see if we can trigger that checkpoint hopefully we set it up correctly. It might have been just that I was in Vanish that it looked like the testing wasn't going properly. Probably. Okay, yep, see, everything works fine. Uh, to leave, we can actually uh, use some of these items. So you can use Shift and right click to go back to the last checkpoint. Uh, you can toggle visibility so you can get rid of players. And Shift and right click to leave the course. Additionally, there are also leaderboards you can set up. So you can do. PA leaderboards Spartan Spartans I believe it's called Spartans and then you're gonna be able to view other people's results so right now there's only one but normally they display a few I'll, I'll go check out one of the other ones uh, split path as you can see they display the top five results uh, it's configurable as well so without further ado, let's check out commands three. Again, this is all pretty self-explanatory. I feel like a lot of this stuff is for like uh, testing. I feel like so you can like link courses, teleport to courses, uh, set the mode, uh, join items, set course minimum level, max deaths. So like we could set uh, for like what I like to do with speed runs. Uh, I could like to set the max death level to like one for um oh my bad max death so Spartans we can make it like three or something so if you oh wow sorry so if you die three times so one two so we have two lives remaining when we go back down to zero we get kicked out of the map I, I think it's pretty good to have so you know people just aren't always leaving when they don't get like their desired time they can just uh, just die so here there's actually a lot of uh, more cool stuff a lot of which I admittedly don't like have on my server but um, you can like do reward once so toggle the prize is, is oh sorry toggle the prize is given once so like let's say there's a speed run you don't want people to just harvest diamonds or anything um, set the reward level reward rank you can actually give people parkour ranks par coins which is just like uh, I believe it's just like um, currency just for the parkour plugin and let's go check out parkour uh, commands three I mean sorry four my bad for these are all admin related commands so you can fix the course database you can delete um, a course so we can just delete Spartans right now uh, oh I believe you can either choose to delete a course or a lobby so that's why you have to specify so course Spartans so you can just ask you to confirm if you want to do this so it's going to purge everything about it including leaderboard data we're just going to do slash PA yes uh, you can also whitelist commands uh, you can reset courses or players especially if you suspect someone 
of cheating or something like that. Uh, there's an SQL menu. Let's go pop that up. Type SQLite true. Uh, it's connected. PA settings. That's going to give you more than just like uh, the base like PA about. So run version 4.0, dev build, uh, economy is enabled, uh, some disabled commands are on, uh, no enforced world or anything. And then let's see if there's anything else I want to mention here. I don't believe so. Oh, and you can also like uh, PA request. So that's to request a feature or to report a bug. You can do it right on the uh, plugin page. So right here in page two, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think so. If you ever want to go back and select the course to like go back to editing it, you're just going to do slash PA select and Spartans just so all the relative commands are there for you. Uh, yeah, I believe that's all. There's also uh, going to be a link to the proper tutorial in the near future. It's not available yet, but uh, I've, I've been speaking with the dev and he says it's coming relatively soon probably by the time this video probably by the time you watch this video the tutorial will be up so when that's up I'll also leave that down in the description below but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed that was a tutorial for the plugin parkour created by Ash honestly in my opinion I think it is the best parkour plugin obviously that's why I use it I used uh, premium parkour plugins and a lot of free ones but um, this one's definitely done me the most good, and I find it the most reliable, and the developer's pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, the URL to the plugin will be down in the description below, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Also, my server IP will be down in the description below if you're looking to play some parkour. See you guys later.